Understanding the phrase, call someone's bluff. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English expression, call someone's bluff. This phrase is widely used in both casual and formal English. Understanding it can add a layer of nuance to your communication skills. So, let's break it down together and see how you can use it effectively in your conversations. The phrase, call someone's bluff, comes from the world of poker, where bluffing is a strategy to deceive opponents about the strength of one's hand. To call a bluff means to challenge someone, showing that you do not believe they are as strong, capable, or truthful as they claim to be. In everyday language, it's used when someone doubts another person's intentions or statements and decides to challenge them to prove their honesty or capability. Let's see how this phrase works with some examples. 1. At work, your colleague claims they can finish a month-long project in just a week. You might say, I'm going to call your bluff and ask you to demonstrate how you'll achieve that. 2. In negotiations, if someone makes a demand you think is unreasonable or untruthful, like a seller asking for an excessively high price, you might respond, I think I'll call your bluff. Let's see if others are offering a more reasonable rate. 3. In personal relationships, a friend keeps threatening to move to a new city but never takes any steps. You might say, I'm calling your bluff. If you're serious, start making arrangements. It's important to know when and how to use this phrase. Call someone's bluff is best used in situations where you're quite confident the other person might not be entirely truthful or able to follow through on their claims. It's a strategic move in conversation, signaling that you're not easily fooled. However, use it judiciously, as it can provoke confrontation or reveal skepticism towards someone's intentions. Call someone's bluff is a powerful phrase that can add depth to your communication, especially when dealing with doubtful claims or negotiations. Remember, the goal isn't to create conflict but to seek clarity or truth in situations where claims are questionable. We hope this explanation helps you understand and use call someone's bluff more effectively in your English conversations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.